In this video we're going to explore the use of styles and how you can apply those to paragraphs. The first thing you need to understand is we can find the styles right up here on the uh, toolbar and you'll see right next to the left of the font picker and it usually starts with normal text but it will depend on what style you have applied to the paragraph you're in. If you click on that the uh, it automatically displays six of the basic styles that you might need. First one is normal text. Normal text is just what text are you using in the body of your um, of your document. In this case we're using Calibri 11 point and that's what our normal text is. Then we can define a title uh, style and you can see that the impact of word processing and education matches that. We can have a subtitle uh, heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3. Now you don't really need to worry about the names of these. You just utilize those how you want to. Um, the advantages of using styles is, is that you can have uh, you can create documents that are distinctly yours. People will know automatically, hey, that looks like uh, a document that Mr. Biggs created and I know it came from his class because I know what his documents look like. And you can really easily and quickly have every document looking the same. Um, it's also a way to create a table of docu table of contents. So if you want, if you have a longer document and you want a table of contents, you're going to use these styles in order to automatically generate that. So how do you apply a style? Well, let's just come down here and take a look at um, some of our headings, which I've got in red to indicate that I want to change those. What I'm going to do is, remember, you, you, we apply a style by the paragraph. So why teachers use word processing has a, a return uh, at the end of that, so that's a paragraph. So I'm going to come up under my normal text and I'm going to make that heading 1. And then if I you can see that it automatically changes the font and it matches heading 1. It's nice because this particular um, style gives me a little bit of space above the uh, paragraph to help me separate that a little bit more. So remember I'm just going to click somewhere in the, my next heading which is in red and I'll make that be uh, a heading 1 and I will click in here. Now this one I'll just do this. I'll show you. It's heading 2. Oops, that's not what I want. I come back up, I'll make that heading 1 and now I've changed everything. Now what's really cool is once we've applied these I'll show you how we can make changes in one fell swoop in the next video.